So I decided instead of leaving you guys on live uh, for a, an hour, maybe 40 minutes, I don't know, however long it takes me, um, I would go ahead and video the finishing the application and adhering the rest of the transfer. So you guys can see how easy it is. Sometimes it can be tricky. Sometimes you have to touch up some areas and how easy that'll be to touch this up. And you'll never notice that this part didn't, uh, I didn't get it rubbed on and I pulled the transfer off. So it does happen if somebody says they never have a problem, they're a lucky person because I always have a problem. I get too fast or um, too excited and I peel it off and, and a piece will always come up with it and it's because I didn't rub it. Most of the time I can catch it and lay it back down and rub that little section on. But sometimes you miss it. So I thought I will show you those bits and pieces. So let me make sure my back of my shirt's checked in. <laughs> And I'm going to start at the bottom because I can't see this as well. This one's on. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to leave this big guy for last um, because it does have a huge, the one inch gap in the drawer up here like this one, and I don't want to seam. So I'm going to have to figure out how to cut that and piece it together and work from the inside out so that I don't have that gap, but the gap's not down here. So I'll have to figure that out. Plus it's in the middle of a drawer. So you guys can watch how we figure this out together. Let me get this on. If I knew how to edit my videos just to put music in the background, I would do that, but I can't figure that out. So if somebody wants to offer me some insight, I would love it. I've tried a couple different video apps and when it comes to editing photos and making the photos into a video, I can do that but I can't figure out how to edit the video itself or speed it up or slow it down in areas or overlay wor wording. Now when people pull, oops, my scissors, pull the, um, where did I put the scissors? Oh well. When people pull the plastic off, they tend to look at the underneath to see if your um, transfer has adhered. It's actually easier to look this direction on top of your plastic. That way when it lifts and you see, oh, it's not on there, you can keep it laid right in the same spot and gently rub it and it'll come off. Because if you go this direction and have to lay it back down, you can get off a little bit. This one, I've got the words covered up with my tape and I got a rub on them. So and it looks like my knob, the knob hole is in the way. So there's one obstacle. And it probably looks like I'm really pushing hard, but I have really weak wrists. So I hold my tool funny. Um, I usually, Try to use this little square one that I use for my molds to scrape them. I 
think I'll work from this side and see if it actually sticks. Here we go. I'm just lightly putting my finger under it. That way I can feel a tug where it didn't come off all the way. Right there's a tug. So I'm just going to rub it again. fails where I think for sure I rubbed on that spot. I always miss that spot. Ta-da! I still have to get this screw, this bent screw out of here. Take it off. And you can see right there. I don't know, can you guys see that? I missed a spot, so I'm just gonna lay it right back over it and rub it again. If it's not coming off, I'll rub a different angle. Once I get this done, I'll zoom in for you guys so you can see this right before we start this, because I have to think about this one, since I've got my two different levels. Well, actually three, one, two, and a flat surface. If I figure out any tips or tricks, what I know, I am happy to share with you guys. So if you wanna shoot questions, um, I do have a group page, the Withered Barn um, IOD DIY and Paint Couture crew. If you guys wanna jump on there and you can share and ask questions, see if anybody's done something before. And that'll give me a chance to monitor what you're asking. So if I do know an answer, I can give it to you. But if somebody else in the group has done it before and knows exactly, they're welcome to answer you too. a whole drawer and I'm just rubbing my fingers over it to make sure everything's on I don't have any air pockets under my words nice and tight Isn't that gorgeous I'm in love with it I love it so up to this guy here let's see what we're gonna do I am going to have to put this on. We're going to have to cut it there. Let me see. Where's my scissors? I just had them. Oh, here they are. Okay. So let's, let's think about this a minute, shall we? Um, where's my center? Do I want to use a razor on there? Do I want to lift it? A little bit, maybe. 
I'm thinking I maybe pressed this on. I'm hoping I didn't. If I did, I'm laying it right back down. Um, let's see. So we're going to leave it right there. I'm going to have to work from the top down. Yep, that's what I'm going to have to do. Okay. So I'm going to hold that down so it doesn't get stuck to anything for right now. I'm going to cut it right here first. This is already stuck. We're, ooh, we are going to go with it. Okay. So I'm going to tag that one up there with some of this tape and tag it up here just so it doesn't fall down when I cut it. So hopefully I got these lines pretty straight. It looks like it. Where do I want to cut this at? I'm going to cut it in between this line and that line because I think if I wrap it, that should be pretty good. Okay. Ready? Fingers crossed. Let's cut in between. Where did I say this one and this one, right? Okay. I know somebody is thinking, why doesn't she use a razor? because I can't use a razor without hurting myself. You guys probably saw that um, when I was trying to open the tubes to show them to you. And there's a trick to hide a not straight line. You just sand it down. Just sand it down. Sand the back, distress it. plastic over here, the top plastic, so it won't stick to my bottom plastic when it separates. Right there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't want to. There we go. Okay. I'm going to I want to move this out of the way for right now. Okay. Let's move that one out of the way. I'm going to stick this on there. Let's hope this works, everybody. I'm going to move that tape out of the way. It's covering up my design. There we go. Okay. Right now I'm thinking, why didn't I just leave it as a whole? Why didn't I just use it the way it came? because I have to be difficult. <laughs> I'm a big old, but what if? What if? I'll have to switch sides, I think. Well, I don't want to do that because it's gonna wrap. I'm not ready to wrap yet. Our door. I'm not going to get interrupted. Okay. So I'm going to scoot this up here and this piece here and this piece here so it doesn't wiggle on me while I finish the bottom half. I don't 
want to scratch the paint. Okay, let's see where we're at on the bottom. I think I'm working the wrong direction, it feels like. I don't want to lift it up yet. Okay, the curve of this drawer is a little trickier. I'm going into the crevice first, and I'm working about an inch at a time and holding the transfer down the rest of the direction because I don't want it to peel off. without me working that area. There we go. Okay. Move that over here. Okay. Um, let me move this over here. So that's not, I don't want it pulling away. Come to this side. Actually, I'm gonna scoot over here. Okay. Oh yeah, that's better. Oops. Tape stuck to me. Okay. Nope, still not tape stuck to me here. Okay, I'm gonna do my little lift and see if anything is feeling stubborn. mentioned before where you got still stuck where you've got finer detail will always be a little trickier than a large detail and the good thing is the IOD sisters thought ahead of time and pre-distressed so even if you do have a little hiccup you can cover it right up with a little additional distressing just isn't going to want to budge. And it's a tip. Not gone tape. Okay. So this piece right here, this little tip, isn't wanting to come off. So I'm going to try it a little bit more at a little different angle and see if I can coax it off of there. And maybe it was a different level of graining right there. Maybe my top coat was too smooth. Maybe it just doesn't want to work right there. Nope, it's just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna go with that. Keep working my way over. The other side. There's another tip. Make sure I got all this section off. I fold it back is so it doesn't rub on itself again just in case I do have a little bit of transfer left and it's sticky and it so it won't peel off another piece accidentally okay okay I'm gonna finish up here because I don't want that
like the top is gonna come off pretty good. Fold this back again. I'm actually going to cut it. Cut it out of the way. I usually don't cut this many out of the way. You can see where I rubbed and rubbed and rubbed on that. So that'll be a distressed area. these transfers you can put them on anything glass I've got quite a few mirrors and then faux mirrors aged mirrors signs and I've seen where they've been putting it on fabric that's something I've got to play with because I would think they um how tight the weave of the fabric is going to depend on how it adheres. Okay. Okay, get rid of this one. Finish out this. You can see where it's not stuck right there, not adhered. I'm going to do my groove first and then work my way. Work up, groove, work it. Now, if this top part can, can be as easy as that, as I kind of redundant, this wasn't as easy as I thought it would be for all this fine detailing. If this top part comes off as easy, we're having us a party. So now I gotta think about the, the rest of the crest. How are we gonna do this? So I will have to Scoot it down, obviously. Let's see. Plus, we've got to be cautious of the middle because we have that um, that one inch groove all the way. So I'm going to have to cut it in different portions. So if I do this, that goes down too far. So um, what am I going to do here? How about, how about we start at the bottom and work our way up? What do you think? Oh, I've got a message from, from my sister, Jerry. So I will uh, look at that in a minute. Okay, I'm going to pull this down as much as I can. I think I want it more. This is what I'm doing. I'm kind of lining up my design on this side and this side. So when I fold that under, that should be good right there. And then 
this side, like it right there. I think this has to come up more. Oh, dang, dang, dang. Good thing I caught that. I'm gonna see right there. Okay. I don't want it to be. Okay. I'm still thrown with this center. What to do with it? Just thrown. Because if I cut it and pull it in, then these are not even. So. I know what I'm going to do. I am going to go ahead. Um, where's my center? Here? Okay, this center. So I'm going to cut it here. And I'm just going to do it. I'm just committing. That's all it is. Just going to do it. Okay. Now. The next thing I'm gonna do, I've decided I'm gonna cut two of these rows out. Let me get another piece of tape because I'm afraid that's gonna fall and I'm gonna lose my adhesion. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to take two strips out of here. You guys see? Careful so my fingers don't stick to the transfer, but I also need to get it as straight as possible. Okay, I'm gonna pull this off, and I'm actually gonna put that two inch strip in the center when I'm done. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. That way this stays, that stays, everything lines up good. Where's our little handy tool? Here it is. Okay. Peppy. Whoa. Okay, let's do this. I'm sure you guys are thinking right now, I'm so glad she didn't do this live because it would have been a three hour show. I'm holding my breath. Okay. I'm actually shaking. Ugh. Okay, so there's one. We didn't get off. Ah, oh, it worked. Can you guys see the difference right there? There's the, where the transfer used to be. Something came off on my finger though. So I'm gonna finish this side. This is another 
another curve. Right there. being extra careful because this is like the center of the design. This is the whole design. My heart is just racing. Okay, I'm gonna stand up so I'm not on my knees the whole time. pieces I see and one right there corner it's not okay and then this little guy right here again maybe I got some fuzz stuck on him okay. oh what do you think excited about it. Okay. Move that little two inch strip aside. Okay, let's do this other one. I'm hoping this works. I'll have to go back over this with my fingers. Make sure it's really nice and tight in there. You can see a little air bubble, which in those grooves happens. Okay. I'm loving it. Okay. Oh, here we go. Last one. Well, not last one. That's the last one, but pretty much. the 
inset groove that I'm rubbing on right now. And then that underneath, making sure it's all, see that didn't come off, so I'm gonna turn my little tool back on there. Rub it on there. Still on the bit, yeah. I just thought, oh, did the camera? Am I only on half of the video? On the screen? pass out.